In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to sign into multiple Google accounts on a Chromebook. More specifically, how to sign into multiple Google accounts within one user account on a Chromebook. In a previous video, Timmy shows you how to add multiple user accounts to your Chromebook. So, if you have different people sharing the one Chromebook, or maybe you have a work account and a personal account, and you want to keep them completely separate, you probably want to watch that video instead, so that you can have two completely separate users with separate apps and settings and passwords and everything like that. But if you have multiple different Google accounts that are both yours, and you want to use them all at once without the hassle of having multiple different user profiles and signing out of one and signing back into another and things like that, Signing in the way Timmy shows you in this video can be a better option. This way, you'll just have one main user profile that you always use, and within that profile, you'll be signed in to your main Google account and any additional Google accounts, all at the same time. Then, you can very easily switch between different accounts in specific Google apps and websites, all without having to sign in to a different profile a bit like you might do on a phone or tablet. To get started, all you need to do is sign in to your main user profile, just like you normally would. So, if you always use this Tech Time with Timmy user profile, we'll just sign in to this one to use it like normal. And then, once you're signed in on your Chromebook, all you need to do is open up the Settings app. So, we'll click on the circle in the bottom left hand corner here to open up the app launcher and then just scroll down here until we find the settings app here and click on it to open it up and now in the settings app you'll need to scroll down just a little bit until you get to the accounts section here and then as you can see here it says currently signed in as tech time one google account so It'd have your name and your profile picture there, but for Timmy, that's what it says. So we'll click on this menu option here. And now, as you can see, it shows you your main Google account. So this is the Google account that's linked to your user profile. And that's where it'll sync all of your files and your Chrome OS settings and your passwords and everything like that. And this account is already automatically signed in on all your Google websites and Google apps on your Chromebook. So you don't need to add this account, but if you want to add any other accounts to be able to use them in Google apps and websites, all you need to do is click the add Google account button here. And it'll give you this pop-up that has some information about it. So you can read that if you want, or you can just click the OK button here. And now you're basically just signing into your Google account. So you'll type your Google account email address and click next. And then type, you'll type your Google account password. And you might have to do a two factor authentication with your phone or something if you have that set up for your account. But once you do that, you'll be in. And it's done. So now, as you can see, the other account to be signed into is right here. So now we're signed in to two accounts under the one user profile. And if you want to add more than two accounts, you can click the button here and follow the same process to just sign in to multiple more accounts if you want to. Timmy's not sure if there is a limit on how many you can sign into, but you could certainly sign in to quite a few if you wanted to. And when you do, they will all be listed out here. But once you've finished signing into all the accounts you want to sign into, you're now signed in and ready to go. So you can now very easily switch between different accounts. So, for example, if we open up Google Chrome and go to Google Docs here, 
You might need to refresh after you do this in order for it to work. So we'll refresh that now, just to make sure it's current. So we're currently signed in to the Tech Time with Timmy account because that is the main default Google account here. So in Google Docs, we can see all of the Tech Time with Timmy Google Docs. But if you wanted to see the Google Docs in one of your other Google accounts, you could now just come up and click on the profile picture up here. And now you'll see your main account that you're currently using and all your additional accounts. So if we want to see the Google Docs in Timmy Beanie account, we can just click on that here and it will open up a new tab. And this is Timmy Beanie's Google Docs. So as you can see, we have the different profile picture and all of the Google Docs in here are in that other account. And if we go back to the Tech Time with Timmy one, all of those Google Docs are in here. And that really works the same for anything. You could be in Gmail or Google Drive or even YouTube or something, just any Google website and switch between accounts and see all of the stuff in that other account. And it'll also work for any Google app you have on here. So if we click on the app launcher button and maybe if we open up the Google Photos Android app, so we'll open up that there. As you can see, we're in the Tech Time with Timmy account here at the moment. But if we again just click on the profile picture and click on this drop down arrow next to the account, we can now choose one of the other accounts. So now, as you can see, we're looking at all of the photos in that other account. And it will really work just like that for any other app or any other website where you use your Google account. But that's all there is to it. That's how you can sign in to multiple Google accounts in the one user account on a Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful and to me, I'll see you in the next one.